Welcome to this short video developed for states interested in participating in the APHL Public Health Laboratory Systems Performance Standards Program. I'm Scott Becker, and I'm privileged to serve as APHL's Executive Director. We appreciate your interest and investment in participating in this program. The launch of the Public Health Laboratory Systems Performance Standard Assessment Program culminates three years of work by APHL. The state public health laboratories are among the first in the state public health system to develop performance standards. This program provides a user-friendly process for assessing performance, brings together system partners, and engages them in discussions of key issues. The process supports improvement through greater understanding of the state public health laboratory system, laboratory practice issue, and communications. Quality systems are our best defense against health threats from pandemics, terrorism, foodborne disease outbreaks, and other public health threats and emergencies. Through this process, we're measuring against a gold standard, not a set of minimum expectations. The assessment addresses the whole system, not only our own sphere of control and practice. This requires us to expand our vision and capabilities and to collaborate with system partners in new and hopefully creative ways. During the course of this video, you'll hear from other laboratory leaders who participated in a field test during the course of this past year. Additionally, key segments from the performance standard assessment in Washington State are incorporated, so you'll have a better idea of what to expect moving forward. Your leadership is essential. We thank you for your interest in being part of this groundbreaking project, and if you do choose to participate, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Through the process for the performance standards, and we found it very helpful in getting uh, our message out to a lot of our partners about the system um, and it also helped us internally with raising the profile of laboratories and the work that they do and where they have their strengths and where they have their weaknesses and it helped us very much point out uh, the, the needed changes that we need to make in the system. System partners are assembled for a one-day assessment. During this assessment, they will be engaged in a discussion based on the 10 essential public health services and 11 core functions and capabilities of state public health laboratories. Each essential service section is further divided into several indicators, model standards, key ideas, and discussion points. Partners from throughout the state public health laboratory system are invited to participate in the state assessment, which is generally organized by the state public health laboratory. These include, but are not limited to, staff from the state public health lab, local laboratories, clinical laboratories, users of test results including epidemiologists and public health programs, academia, and researchers. Food safety people show up. We had a grocery store show up and we had a lot of dialogue with them. Uh, we had private environmental laboratories. We had water utility districts and it was really uh, tremendous to open that dialogue with all of us, a lot of the non-traditional partners. Uh, so I think we're going to be able to grow on that and to use that for strategic planning and also to look for what we might need to take to the legislature or then our next session and pull this same group back together again. Uh, look at what we came up with this time and help use that to take that to the legislature for what's needed to improve our entire system. This is a visual representation of the state public health laboratory system. In order to further explain the concept of the public health laboratory system, you are about to see video clips from the UNC School of Public Health's Public Health Grand Round series entitled Disease, Disaster, and Detection, Partnering with Public Health Laboratories. My vision is that we really truly have an integrated public private laboratory system. And I think that that is really essential for what we need to accomplish today and what we're capable of accomplishing today because of the technology that we now have. I envision a very, very close partnership between the public laboratories and the private laboratories. And it's not a partnership that we're doing the same thing, but rather they have a very important role, they being the private laboratories, and we have a very important role the public laboratories and together there's synergism. We're going to get the job done a lot faster, a lot more effectively and we're going to all be in the business of protecting the public's health. Emphasize the need for leadership at many levels, state,
federal, and local to provide support for what is now commonly recognized as a national need, namely the development of a national network of integrated public health and clinical laboratories. I cannot overemphasize that only when these partnerships have been developed in all our states will we have the system that is rapidly responsive to any developing public health threat. Next, we'll have a look at how a typical assessment takes place. Participants are divided into small groups, each led by a separate facilitator. Following this process, all 10 essential services are able to be covered in the same day. There are a series of points of discussion. Let's look at them as a group and then discuss them as a group. Participants discuss key points for each essential service. The doctor's office. The first thing I think about you know, when I uh, go over a, a series of questions like this, is the okay, First of all, what do we do? I'm from right. the state public health lab, okay? That's, that's my frame of reference, and this is what I do. There doesn't seem to be a lot of involvement, um, and we and weren't really sure where the, the diagnostic and lab support was being done for some of the chronic disease problems. And so I'm wondering if we need to look at kind of a, an assessment of whether we're as involved as a system in some of the health problems that are more chronic. I think that's a clear issue. Now, what about EPA? After discussion, participants move towards consensus by voting using color cards, which correspond to these rating categories. Theme takers track discussion and voting results, which they collect from each session and enter into a scoring tool. It's a green. It's a little green, but it's the results derived from this scoring tool are used with the goal of improving laboratory practice throughout the system. The results really were the, the connections with the people, the participants, uh, being able to, to reestablish some connections, make new connections. Um, we're going to use some of the work from uh, the assessment and some strategic planning that we'll be doing down the road. It's a great way to, to get people started in some, some areas to do some things that are more strategic. It's sometimes hard to find a reason why to do it. This gives them a reason why. This also benefits uh, the whole laboratory by providing an opportunity to, to really assess their system. APHL thanks the CDC's Division of Laboratory Systems for supporting this project. APHL will provide technical assistance materials and training to states planning assessments. For more information, please visit www.aphl.org and search for performance standards.